Hey, this is Randy here, and I just wanted to share with you a really neat website called Animoto. Animoto is awesome. Uh, you can use it to create really nice looking videos in a very user friendly way. And you can have your students make these videos as well. Uh, you can combine video, pictures, caption, and music, and it's really, really easy to use. I use this as uh, one of my first assignments that I gave my students, and they had to make a 30 second video. Uh, to introduce themselves to the class. So they made a 30 second video about themselves and I played each of these videos. Uh, it's amazing how much you can get to know about a student by what they create and want to show you about themselves in just those 30 seconds. So it really helped me uh, get to know my students better, help them get to know each other better, and get the school year off to a great start. Uh, now there's actually an education, uh, free education account that you can get so uh, you want to check that out. If you type in uh, animoto.com slash business slash slash education, uh, you go there. And then from there, if you click learn more, you can apply, um, click here and say apply now and get a free account. Uh, there's also directions on how you can connect the student accounts uh, to your account so you can manage the videos that your students make instead of them having to uh, send you all of the links to their videos through email or posting all of their links to their videos uh, on an LMS like say Edmodo. Once you apply uh, to get the free education account you'll get an email and that email will have a special promotion code uh, along with some directions that you can use uh, to create those uh, accounts and connect that promo code to your account. So uh, just be looking for that after you apply. I'd like to show you real fast, if you're interested, how you can use uh, Animoto. Um, once you get in there, it's really, really easy to use. The first thing is to choose a style. So I'll choose this back to school style here. And it'll give you a preview of what that style's like. You can see that here, kind of cool. Um, from there, if I can decide you really like that style, um, there's lots of styles to choose from that are free. There, you can the video. And this thing will load up. Uh, from there, you can choose a song that you would like to go uh, with your production. And there's a whole bunch of different songs to choose from. You can also upload your own audio files uh, to this as well. So really kind of cool there. Uh, let's just pick that one. I haven't even listened to it yet. Uh, from there, if you click this plus button, you can start adding text or start adding uh, pictures and video files. And this is integrated with uh, your Facebook, with Instagram, with lots of other places where you might have images and videos already. Or you can just upload um, pictures and videos from your computer as well. It's really, really a quick and easy project. Uh, to create and once you start uploading stuff you can just start dragging um, and dropping it around and putting it in order and when you're done uh, you can hit play and see how uh, Animoto takes those songs, videos, images and text and combines them into a production and I'll sh share with you one that I created um, in really about you know five to ten minutes it took me longer to figure out what I wanted to put into the presentation than to actually make it so here's one that I shared with my students about me All right, hopefully you didn't lose too much respect for me uh, after showing that video. Uh, I'm a firm believer in being myself, and um, I like to show that video because it uh, puts me out there as myself in front of my students, and it gives them uh, permission to be themselves as well. 
What's cool is after you're done making the video, uh, you can then just get a direct link from it uh, that you can play, so the link's up here. But you can also post it to YouTube uh, or tweet it uh, out or share it on Facebook. So um, really neat. My wife actually, she's not tech savvy at all. Uh, Shirley right there, love her. She's not tech savvy at all, but she was able to figure out how to use Animoto. And she used it to create um, a presentation that showed pictures of all of her elementary school students for graduation last year. Um, I like to use it just to um, have the students you know, introduce themselves to the class. But I've also used it in other ways where I really limit the amount of time that the students' presentations can be. And they ha it forces them to really think critically about what information they put in their presentation and what's the most important. So having them say, create a video about the legacy of Thomas Jefferson, and it can only be a minute long. Um, they really have to do a lot of studying and research and make a lot of decisions about what to put in and what to leave out. And so it can be a nice a higher order thinking activity that you have your students engage in as well. Anyway, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions about it, uh, please let me know. I'd be glad to help. All right, hope you had a great first day, and peace out.